Hi everyone, welcome to Garden Yarns. My name is Christine and welcome. This is where we talk about anything knitting, crochet, and yarn related. And I'm down here in southern Ontario where we had a little bit of rain and high winds today, but just mostly in the morning. So it's pretty nice out now. I hope everybody's doing well. And I have some finished objects, some whips, and they are purchased from Michael's. Oh, and don't forget at the end I'll have a giveaway. Woohoo! Just gonna grab my first drink. So I got a lot of dishcloths and hand towels done. Well, a couple of hand towels. So I'll start with the finish dishcloths first. Just checking my notes because I wrote down some of the different colors. The first one is, this is Wishing I Was Knitting at the Lake, one of my favorite patterns. This color is black currant. It's like a nice deep purple. This is a Lily Sugar and Cream yarn. And I usually get that when I go up to Mary Maxim or I order it online. So that's the first finished object. I also did this colorful white and purple spun. And this is peach and cream called Pansy. And it's got a different lighter and darker purples and a little bit of white there. And this I usually get at Walmart over the river. Which I haven't been in over a year because unfortunately our borders are still closed. But that's alright. I still got lots of yarn to work with. And this is another purple dishcloth. You can tell I still very much into purple. This is Lily Sugar and Cream again. And I had this much left over. I'm not sure if it's enough to make another one, but I'll have to weigh it and see. And this color is called Orchid. And this is a four weight as well. That other dishcloth done with the same pattern. And this is another dishcloth. This is a different yarn. This is Premier Home Cotton I got at my local Michaels. It's a, it says it's a medium four, but it's more like a three. And it's also, I also found out that would teach me to read the labels first, that this is not 100% cotton. This is 85% cotton and 15% polyester, so probably not too good for dishcloths but maybe for a washcloth instead for your face or something. And it comes out a little bit smaller because it is a thinner yarn. So that's finished. Sorry, my throat's a little dry this evening. As you can see, I'm still using my Crochet Society box sign. That comes in handy. And this is a container we got in the last box. That I got a few crochet hooks in. These are for two of my current projects, I think. I think this is for the white and purple two-stranded blanket. And I forget what the blue one was for already. But we'll figure that out later. And I'm not sure if I showed you the finished Red Heart dishcloth. So figured I was showing dishcloths. I'd show this again. This is Wishing I Was Knitting at the Lake. Very cute. So I have the set finished for my friend.
So this is the set here. Give you a little close up of the stitches there. And the button. So that's done. A oh, little piece of fluff on there. And I did do a nut a yellow dishcloth. Pull it up there. Not sure who's getting all these, but maybe if we can start doing craft shows again or maybe try online selling. And I did finish, I think I showed you this last time. The cute bunny dishcloth. And I also turned it into a matching hand towel. I just take the bunny design and combine it into the wishing I was knitting at the like hand towel design. And then so you have matching. And this color is Robin Egg Blue. And I still use my four and a half millimeter knitting needles. So that's all I got completed. So I did have lots of time to knit and crochet this week. Put that back over there. Sorry, I thought I heard something again. Just let me go check. Everything is okay. It's probably just my mom in another part of the house. And I did start another hand towel for my mom in the bunny pattern. So I'm done the bunny design part. Now I just have to do the decreasing and the little loop for the handle. And then make her a dishcloth. This one is Brene Handicrafter Cotton and Robin's Egg Blue. So very cute. And this pattern. Sorry about that. <clears throat> Is by Lisa Milan. www.dignitydesignsblogspot.com called Waving Bunny. There's a picture of it there. If I can get it without the glare. And of course, you know, I couldn't go too long before I decided to start another project. I'm using the new care and cake. Just getting it out of the bag here. Make sure I don't forget to take my tools out. Okay, throw that over there. I decided to start the waffle stitch blanket. I thought this was a really cute colorway. There we go. Probably a toddler size blanket. It's got a little bit of fuzz on it. But it adds to the charm of the blanket. I'm using one of the new Yarn Inspirations Karen Cake Karen Baby Cakes. This color is called Petals. You can see some of the colorway there. I think I'm about halfway done the first ball, or at least the first five or six colors. And then it just repeats. And I got four of these, so that should make a decent sized blanket. I haven't decided on the border yet, but I may just do my favorite shell stitch border. And that I believe I did. I found the video on YouTube, but I'm not sure if I used Jaden stitches or somebody else's. I forgot to write it down. Maybe in my book I wrote it down. Let's see. Oh, 
yes, I did use a different YouTuber, Siren's Crochet Blog, but she also has a YouTube channel. That's S I R E N apostrophe S. And I'm using my favorite five and a half millimeter crochet hook for that. I keep track of some things in this cute little notebook from Dollarama. I'm almost done this book, but I believe I always have an extra journal notebook lying around. So that, that's no problem there. Okay, enough. I didn't buy too much at Michael's. I just went to get more of this pretty Robin's Egg blue color. And it's Bernay Handicrafter Cotton. I usually tend to gravitate towards this because we can find it both at Michael's and at Walmart. I, it wasn't on sale, but I wanted it for the bunny hand towels. I might make a couple more. So I bought six of them, but two I'm already using for the hand towel. And that's all I bought at ice shopping this time to Michael's. I know, shocking, right? How can we resist not buying anything else at Michael's? Okay, so that's it for that. I'm just going to grab another quick drink, then we'll get on to the giveaway. Go get it. Okay, so let's put that back in there. Put it back in my yarn bowl so it's all together. I always forget the date. It's Friday, March 26th. That should come in handy when I'm doing a giveaway. Okay. So for this, since so I'm in the dishcloth hand towel craze, I am giving away some cotton yarn. I am giving away two balls of the Lily Sugar and Cream. This color is sunshine yellow and you'll get two of them this is worsted I agree with that it's a nice yarn to work with it's a four ply it's 2.5 ounces or 70.9 grams there's a free pattern on the label it says And that's all it says. So you get two of these. And of course, two Bernay Handicrafter Cotton. This color is hot orange. And this is the number four, 1.75 ounces and 50 grams, or I believe it says 84 yards. And you get two of those. And the next ball, two balls of yarn I got at my local yarn shop in Font Hill, Rose's Fine Yarns. I haven't tried this one yet. This is called Suds by Estella Yards. It's a crafter's cotton. And it is 100% cotton, a 50 gram ball or 74 meters. Yeah, I would say that's probably closer to a three. It feels very soft though. It doesn't have a color name, but it's like a taupe. And you get two of those. And there's a label. And I 
believe I may have mentioned this, that someone may get one of my hand towel dishcloths that's during a future giveaway. And seeing how I am giving away cotton yarn, I figured that would be appropriate. So the winner would get this cute bunny hand towel with the matching button. See the design there. And the matching dishcloth. There he is. So that surprises for this giveaway. Remember, I'll pay to ship it to you, but I'm not responsible to any uh, taxes, duties, or other fees. And it's open to the people in Canada and U.S. And it, I'm not associated with any of the, I'm not associated with Brene Handicraft or Cotton, Estelle Yarns or Lily Sugar and Cream. And this is not sponsored by YouTube either. Sorry, just another drink. And as usual, do the winning draw on Tuesday evenings, my time after 7.30. Um, let's see, I'll, I'll use a random comet picker. And I think for today's question, we'll just do what are your favorite items to knit or crochet or craft? So mine are blankets, head towels, dish cloths, and the odd. Um, Gurumi. So if you want to leave your comment down below, tell me what you like to make or not make. Um, and yeah, just comment by Tuesday by 7.30 and then we'll draw the winner then. That's this coming Tuesday. So let me grab my phone and double checks. I'm all mixed up on my dates lately. Um, that would be Tuesday, March 30th. The contest ends. Okay, so that's all I have for you today. I thank you for watching, liking, and sharing my videos. And I hope everybody's staying happy and healthy. And until the next video, take care everyone. Bye.